Hi folks, in this part two video, I'm going to be showing you practically how I got to this point with the, uh, the AR Pro new build. Um, this is obviously just a test build with the bolts of elevons and the lamination that I've never done before. So yeah, this video is kind of showing you my experiences of getting to this point. Um, if you've got any questions, you know, feel free to ask. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, they're always extremely welcome. I've already had lots of comments and ideas which some I've put into practice. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I am... Uh, just preparing the CA hinge option. So what I've done is I've used this X-Acto knife and I've got the center of the Elevon and I've pushed the X-Acto knife into the Elevon and uh, basically just wiggled it from side to side just to slightly open up the gap. I've, uh, I've drawn a line down the center of the CA hinge and I've got a center line in the Elevon. So I just then push the CA hinge down until it meets the center line, and that's where it'll be lined up. Um, so I've done all three of those. They're not glued in yet. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure whether to glue them when they're actually pushed together. This CA hinge material is like a felt material. I think it's designed to absorb the CA glue, so I don't want to basically glue them in case it absorbs across. So I'm just gonna prepare this first. So what I've done is I've put some masking tape onto the wing. Um, and I'm just going to align the elevon up correctly and then I'm just going to mark line on each side of the CA hinge and that will allow me to just extend those lines over onto the trailing edge of the wing like so like this and then I'm going to draw a center line down the middle of the wing so I'll just measure the distance so that's eight mil so that should also be four mil four mil and then let's mark a center line. And then mark a center line down there. And then I'm going to cut into that with the X-Acto knife, a very sharp, brand new blade. I'm going to leave the masking tape on so that it's easier to maintain the line because if it's black, obviously, and you are cutting a hole into something black, then it's hard to see if you've got a line straight. So I'm going to put the X-Acto into that line and just push it into the foam. Try and keep it as straight as I possibly can. Exacto knife blade wants to be about halfway in. Okay, so that's done now. I'll take the masking tape off at the end. Just make sure I've got that. So let's just see if that, I'm gonna take these other two out because I have not cut holes for those yet so pull those out let's just see if this one actually goes together uh, I'm going to jiggle it together yeah okay so there's the first one in and um, well that looks pretty good actually I'm not sure if I'm going to like this more than the Z hinge um, probably be neater especially when I make the new elevons and they're going to be much much nicer than these, much neater. Uh, okay, so that's how we're gonna do that. So then what we'll do is we'll get them all in position, get them all cut, and then we'll uh, try and glue them in. Okay, I'll uh, come back to you in a few minutes when I've got all that ready. Okay, so I've now cut all three of the, uh, of the CA hinges and I did notice when I tried to push it together that the CA hinges actually will go inside so obviously we want, we want exactly half inside the wing and half inside the elevon so what I've done is I've just put some pins through the foam I'm going to obviously laminate it anyway with a colour so it won't see the holes um, so that the, the CA hinges don't actually push into the wing so I can now just try and jiggle this elevon onto there so I'll just put it on at a slight angle Make sure I try and get them all lined up. It's a bit tricky. There we go. Oh, nearly. 
Oh, that top one's just not quite on. Let's guide it into the... There we go. Yeah, just jiggle side to side. Push it on. Push it in really tight. Okay, and there is the CA hinge um, method. Obviously, I'm not sure if to put some tape down there. One of, uh, one of you guys kindly said blender and tape might be a good thing to put over this gap. There's a bit more of a gap on this one because obviously I haven't made the elevons particularly well, but uh, yeah, um, in terms of the way the hinge works, that looks really good, um, really, really good. So obviously when it's glued in. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I might take the masking tape off and uh, just pull it slightly apart and drop some CA glue in and see if it actually runs into the joints uh, and then sets. So uh, we'll get this uh, masking tape off and we'll come back and we'll see if we can glue them in place. Um, won't be doing that of course until we've actually laminated the wing. And this white stuff that you can see on the wing is actually this, uh, this brush on adhesive which smells really bad and if you're going to do it then uh, you really need a really well ventilated place because uh, I was starting to feel a little bit high actually um, in here. So yeah, um, laminate the wing next and then we can put these, uh, these CA hinges in. Okay, all in all though, pretty straightforward, pretty easy and uh, yeah, pretty effective I would say. Okay, so here goes nothing on the aura cover. So I've, uh, I've cut it for the wing. I've, I've added some of this special adhesive to give it more strength hopefully. Um, and uh, I've just taped it on. So I'm just going to take the backing off now. And then we're going to have a go at laminating it. So what I've done is I've actually put some tape on to the edge of the wing here and it's going to go round over the front and then it's going to overlap. So I'm just going to Try and pull this tight and start on this side of the wing and then get the, uh, the trailing edge done and then take it from there. So I'm just going to pull that tight. When you laminate it, it seems like you need three hands. Right, so I've got the iron on a medium heat. So I'm just going to see how, how that works out. I'm going to start in the middle, a circular motion. You can see the pattern of the, uh, the foam underneath. Okay, it's, maybe it needs to be a bit higher the heat. I'm going to turn it up just a fraction. I've never used this stuff before, so. Just going to go along the wing. Right now, I'm going to pull it really tight to get this this edge done. So I'm just going to, whoops, there goes the servo tester. I'm pulling it towards myself so I can get a real nice sharp edge. Not sure if you can see that in shot. Just let me move the camera so you can see that in shot.
Okay, I'm going to continue with this because obviously it's going to be quite boring you watching all of this. So I'm going to go up to the top, get over the leaving edge, and when I can turn it over on the other side and I'm going to do the join where it overlaps, I'll come back. Okay, so I've, uh, I've done the back and I've done the front and I'm just curling this over, pressing the iron up onto the leading edge and kind of curling it over to try and get it to come over the top without any wrinkles. Smoothing it into the indentation where the decals go. Right, I'm just going to do it from the middle and pulling it tight to the overlap. So I've got it overlapping so underneath the wing so the join is underneath and not on the top and uh, obviously the outside is overlapping the inside so the airflow is is flowing over uh, not against the the join so uh, just uh, pull that up a little bit because I want to keep that nice and taut Now this stuff apparently shrinks so with more heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wife's hair dryer and when I finish this and I've trimmed everything I'm going to basically run over it and uh, shrink it down and see how tight it gets. So that's the But that is pretty much, you see how tight it is already, you can actually see where the, uh, the decals, you might, well hopefully in the light, you can see where the decals go here. So all in all, that's a, quite a nice job and it feels nice. Obviously there's some floppy bits around where I need to cut it out for where the servos are. Actually, I'm going to see if I can shrink those in place with the uh, with the hairdryer. See how tight I can get it. So that's pretty much the first one done. Before I shrink it, I'm just going to go cut round carefully with a knife um, and just trim these edges off as neatly as I can, so that when we put the winglets on and we attach this to the fuselage, we get a nice clean edge without seeing any uh, mess. So yeah, uh, that's the first one done and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, uh, with that. I'm not sure how much the uh, extra adhesive helped. Maybe I'll do a bit of foam testing uh, on a spare piece of foam with and without the adhesive to see how well it works. But I think uh, that's that for now. I'll trim it all up and uh, crack on with the next one. Okay, so I've done everything I can with the iron, I've shrunk it down. Um, I haven't done the cutouts yet for the servos. Um, managed to fold it in on the edges while I've trimmed it. So hopefully when that goes into the fuselage, it'll look quite neat. And the same on the edges here um, for the winglet. So I'm gonna use a hairdryer rather than my normal heat gun because I wanna get a bit more of a spread of heat and not too much concentrated heat in one place. So it's going to be quite noisy, so you probably won't be able to hear me speaking when I put the hairdryer on, but it's going to kind of give it a, a gentle heat all over and see if it'll just shrink down and just really tighten up as much as possible. We'll probably see here around the um, where the servo is and the gap underneath um, if it's going to uh, shrink, if it pulls those little wrinkles out there. So let's give this a go. It's quite hot.
Okay, that worked well. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you can see the CG marker. The, yeah, there, you can see the, uh, the CG markers uh, appeared as it shrunk around it. Um, you can see where the servos go, and you can see the hatch cover, the blanking hatch cover, so it's really tight. Um, and actually, I've got to say, for my first attempt, and this is Aura cover, with the adhes extra adhesive, this has come out really, really well. I'm really, really impressed with it. And it feels a lot more rigid. So I've just got to cut these sections out here for the servos. And uh, then what I might do is I might try and put a decal in the front of here and see how that sits and see how decals stick onto, uh, onto the aura cover. Okay, let's go and do that. Okay, so got the second wing done in the Ritmax film and um, comparison um, between the two. Uh, the aura cover, um, I would say, goes on slightly easier. The uh, Ritmax film it seems to be a little bit thinner um, and it's a bit more tricky to get on without the creases. That said, um, the Ritmax film does seem to adhere better um, using the aura cover adhesive. Actually, I've got a piece here. Uh, maybe this, turn this lamp on, it might be easier to see. Um, this piece here, so this is the, um, on the left here, um, is the uh, Ritmax film, this is the Aura Cover film. So uh, I've used the Ritmax film with the Aura Cover adhesive and just see how it sticks. It's quite hard to pull off. But the Aura Cover without the adhesive, it peels off really easily. Um, fair to say that this Elevon hasn't been treated, it hasn't been sanded. Um, so it, it's not, not going to be adhering as well as it does onto the wings where I sanded them with wet and dry. In terms of the final appearance, I think that when you put the hairdryer over the Ritmax, it actually um, it tightens up much more than the Aura Cover. The Aura Cover, you know, in places it still feels a little bit, not loose, but certainly not as taut. If you look here on the, where the, I haven't cut the servo out yet on the Ritmax covered one, um, that, that's, that, that's tight as a drum. Uh, after you put the hairdryer on it um, and you can see that the, the CG mark is quite a bit more pronounced hopefully on the Ritmax one than it is on the Aura Cover one. So they're both really good um, but for me I think moving forward because of these uh, properties of the Ritmax uh, and of course the price $8.99 compared to £33 I'll be running with the, uh, the Ritmax. Um, both are quite easy to put into the edges so when you get you know your fuselage and if you can put the iron you can actually iron those edges in quite nicely when you insert into the fuselage you do get a really nice super neat edge finish um, so yeah I'm quite pleased with that so I don't know whether I'll try covering a fuselage or not maybe the underneath with some clear to protect it from landing but this might be quite difficult to do all these curves even with the Ritmax um, but yeah, it was wings mainly that I wanted to get done. So those combined with the bolts relevons um, is what we're really testing in this part of the, uh, the series. So um, we'll do that. Um, and finally, um, just regards to the, the decals that I usually use, the next thing I'm going to do is going to put some decals in here, see how they fit, and then probably put some Gorilla Tape. Um, the stuff that I use is this um, Gorilla Tape. Um, clear Gorilla Tape, really strong stuff, uh, and put that over the, uh, the leading edge to give it even more protection on the leading edge. So yeah, we'll put some decals on and see how they stick onto the, uh, the Ritmax and the Aura cover. And we'll come back and check that out. Okay, so um, I've done a little test with the CA hinges. So I inserted the hinge into the slot on this old um, foam elevon. And I put a little bit of this really thin CA. I've got uh, two types. I've got this super thin one to three second cure, Insta Cure, Bob Smith Industries. Um, I use that, and it's really, it really is like water. Um, and I've also got this one, which is super gold. This is supposed to be foam safe, but I've tested this one. This one's also foam safe. And this is uh, three to five seconds. So I'm going to use this one because it's super thin like water. And what I did was I put the CA hinge into the foam and I just put a couple of drips on. And you could see on, on the CA hinge, it just absorbed it like a, like a paper towel. 
So that's the reason why these have got felt on them, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I fitted the CA, CA hinges on this elevon and uh, it's all in position. I'm going to just basically flex the elevon and put a couple of drops on each side and then I'm going to push it together. So I'm going to have to be fairly quick with this. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that will work out okay. So, I'm going to extend the elevon, put a couple of drips in either side, quickly, 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 and push the whole thing together really tight, hold it tight. With a bit of luck, that should let the CA run into those hinges and lock it all together. So it says one to three seconds, but it takes a little bit longer. So obviously it's trapped in there with no air, so it's not actually able to vaporize. Obviously I don't want the, uh, the CA glue to, to stick to the laminate and to the elevon. Okay, I think, get this little bit of excess glue off that's on there. I think that should be done. Yeah, it feels, it feels absolutely solid. I can't, I can't, I can't pull it out. So maybe just run a little bit of tape there because there's a bit of a gap. Um, the gap is mainly because I didn't make these elevons particularly well, but yeah, I think we're, we're probably going to be good to go with that. So uh, that's the one that I'm going to do with the CA hinge. This one I'm going to do with the Z hinge. Um, and then we'll get the servo horns on and uh, move on to the next stage. But yeah, that seems to work really well. It really does feel absolutely, absolutely solid. I'm already thinking that maybe CA hinges is going to be the way to go um, rather than the Z hinges. It looks a lot neater as well. Okay. Okay, so we've got the, the carbon rod in the winglet and uh, we've got some holes in the end of the wing. I'm just going to push these together. Really carefully. These are old wings, so these winglets have been broken off. Just bond that. I've just used Yoohoo pour on that and I've just used it in the contact method. But I did fill the holes with E6000 so hopefully that will work nicely. So I'm just going to push now with a, I'm just going to push the, the pins in to the wing. nice push that in so they're nice and tight wipe off the excess excess that squids out okay so those winglets hopefully when that all dries should be a little bit stiffer we'll see so we've got the elevons on got the horns on um, this is the uh, the one with the um, the CA hinges and they're absolutely rock solid I did notice with the Z hinge method which is on this one that you can actually still pull the elevon away from the wing so I've done this because I wanted to try it but I've already kind of almost made my mind up that Z hinges, sorry, that um, CA hinges is going to be the preferred method when I build the new plane. Okay, so uh, I'll just pop the other winglet on here, leave that to dry overnight, and then uh, we should be ready almost to start assembling the wings onto the fuselage and getting this test plane ready to uh, be airworthy. Okay, so we've got the workshop tidied and we've got everything put together ready for the test flight. 
the actual decals went on really well um, and I put the Gorilla Tape on the leading edge. They actually adhere better to the Aura cover or the Rip Max than they do to the, uh, to the foam, which is what I normally do. Um, the winglets, um, well, they're still a little bit flexible, of course, because by the nature of their design and, and, and the fact they're not particularly rigid and they are made of foam, but actually at the root where they actually connect up to the end of the wing, there's definitely more strength there with the carbon rod. So, uh, yeah, that seems to have worked out reasonably well. Um, I haven't actually um, laminated the underside yet. I think I might do that after I've test flown it, um, but uh, I just didn't really have time and I want to use this uh, opportunity for weather window. So yeah, that's uh, kind of everything done. The bolts and hinges are on. Um, I did actually have to, because the, uh, I think because the, the, the actual new horns are a little bit smaller or don't have as much throw on them as the other old ones in iNav, I've actually extended the actual movement of the control um, horns via the servo by extending the servo from 800 to 2200 rather than 1000, 2000 that I had before. So yeah, that's allowed me to get the, the throw that I want um, on the horns, which should allow me to have you know, reasonable flight characteristics. So yeah, let's uh, go out to the field now and uh, see how this baby flies. <laughs> 